Tell us about uh, Shonya's condition. What she can do independently, what she cannot do. Uh, uh, independently, she cannot do anything right now at this moment. She is for cerebral palsy and she is quadriplegic, which is all four limbs affected, and she is epileptic as well. Um, right now, she is on epileptic, uh, anti epileptic drugs. Um, she, her, her neck control is very minimal. Um, even hand movement, there are no fine motion movements. She, Can she hold something? Um, not on her own, unless you. Um, you put it on, put it on her, in her hand, yeah. So grasp and release is not there. Only thing she can do is just open her uh, right hand side first finger. That's, that's all she can do at this moment. And uh, in her lower limbs, she can, uh, if we hold her from back side, she can just move her face. Her gait is okay. She can walk, but she crosses her legs very much, so that's why she stops in between. And, uh, what about uh, speaking? Uh, speech, she hasn't got really any speech. All she can say is uh, huh and that is yes and uh, no by nodding her head. Uh, she can understand quite a few things uh, said in English and a few things in Hindi, uh, which is like simple things, not everything. The simple things like do you want this or like you know making choice sometimes, mm -hmm. but it is not. Uh, perfect all the time. Sometimes she will make the choice perfect, sometimes she won't. Um, she if you, if you, she does, she cannot hold herself, like in the wheelchair, she doesn't hold herself mm -hmm. or her head. No. 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 no, you have to strap her. To strap her. Um, and what about the muscle tension? It is quite a lot of muscle tension, yeah, especially when you are trying to push her clothes on trying to do something against her mm. she goes real tight. And it's a struggle to put her clothes on, like you know, she will not cooperate with you and just hold her hand. Uh, she can't uh, turn herself to uh, from this side to another. So we can help to help her to this side, this posture like this. And help her to give a uh, help. Okay, Sonia. Yes, it's very good. Sonia. Sonia. Okay. And uh, sometimes she always takes the posture like this. Like this. Like this. So this posture can help her to against to this posture. Help her. Help help herself to control her head. Look at me, cut mine, cut mine, and then cut yours. Yes, great. Hi. Control on her bowel movements. 
The drooling is still there, but it's occasional. Uh, uh, she can control it a little bit better than this. So pretty, how, how, how was before? Can she like straight um, or even yeah. cannot? Before she, uh, this, she just stood on the heel, uh, on the on the toes. Uh -huh. But now you can see her heel, yeah, she is totally standing on her heels. Uh -huh. See? It's totally flat on the floor. Before she just stood with, uh, like this. Okay. It was so, the these muscles were so so tight. But now she can just stand mm -hmm. and maybe she can just wait there for a few seconds. Now Sonia can do some babbling, which uh, she had stopped doing when she was about four years old. And uh, in between years she just stopped talking anything. But now again she is going back to her normal uh, behavior. And she is trying to say some words and babbling and maybe uh, understand my commands more than before. And she can speak maybe daddy, but she, she just calls it Eddie. And instead of mommy, she calls Mane. Um, I think that is me, and Eddie means daddy. Uh, her understanding has increased a lot. And uh, I really don't understand what she tries to say, but at least she is trying to say something. Um, that is for sure and that behavior has come back which is a good improvement and uh, according to the speech therapist now she can take her tongue out more than before. Before she could only take out this much and now even to this much she can take out. So Mili will tell you what is the advantage of uh, when, when you can take the tongue more out. I think it is better for speech. Mm -hmm. So really open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Say ah, open your mouth, open your mouth. Yeah. Open first, open your mouth and then stretch your tongue. Yeah, good. There was one different tablet which I used to give her, which is a sleep tablet, just chewing. Uh, before I had to make a powder and give it to her, but now I just give it to her and she just bites and she can chew and just eat like that. Just like normal, so no more grinding. Um, oh, she can just eat yeah, by herself. Um, Choking. That is another improvement. Really? The chewing, chewing part has become better.